And our Salute to the Champions today brought to you by the Vancouver province. We're taking you back quite a few years. You're going back to the year 1990. You're going to be at Belmont Park in New York. You're going to be watching, of course, it's a 1990 Breeders' Cup mile. Reason I chose this race personally because of the jockey that will eventually will be winning the race. That is Hall of Fame European jockey Lester Piggott. What was enjoyable about watching Piggott ride the winner of this race was he had just been away serving a little time for tax evasion in Europe. This was his comeback ride after six months. Outstanding ride at 57 years old. Piggott wins this race. The Salute to the Champions is brought to you by The Province Sports, where you can read racing columnist Tommy Walski every week. The Province Sports and Tommy Walski, it all starts here. They're off in the Breeders' Cup mile, and Shotgun Scott is away quickly. Expensive decision is right there with him, and those two duel early. Lady Winner with good early speed is angled over quickly to the inside. Go Dutch on the outside, fourth. Steinland is up close to the early pace. He's now fifth. Mark of distinctions taken under a hard hold. He was steadied in behind Lady Winner. On the outside, beginning to move up now. That's, it's all Greek to me. He's about six lengths off the lead. Mark of distinction is now pinned down on the inside. Colway rally with clear running moving up. Long shot, great. Normandy is about nine lengths off the lead. Royal Academy with clear running on the far outside. And down inside, who's to pay? Nine lengths from the pacemakers. Priolo is second to last. Jalajo trails the field. Expensive decision. And shotgun Scott, those two moving together. The quarter went in a sharp 22 and three fifth seconds as the field enters the far turn. A grueling half mile here of 45 and four. And it's expensive decision now. Who shakes loose from shotgun Scott? Go Dutch. It's all Greek to me is now coming with his sharp rally on the outside. Steinlin has now faded to fifth. On the outside, Mark of Distinction has clear running now, and here comes Mark of Distinction with his run for the lead. Lady Winner is in behind the phalanx of horses with nowhere to go. Royal Academy and Lester Pickett are six lengths off the lead, but they're launching their rally now as they come down to the final furlong. It's all Greek to me as a short lead, expensive decision battling back. Mark of Distinction, Royal Academy is thundering down the center of the turf course, and Steinlin is fifth. They're coming down to the finish. Lester Pickett flailing away at Royal Academy. It's all Greek to me toward the inside. Here's the wire. Head bombing finish. Royal Academy does it. And the living legend out of retirement, 54-year-old Lester Pickett pulls off the upset here. Well, that's it for this edition of the Sport of Kings. And once again, on behalf of all of us here, we would like to say thank you for allowing us to spend this last half hour with you on this Saturday morning. As always, I'm going to leave you with a couple of things to remember. This weekend, two great stake races. It's the Sadie Diamond for 30 and the Jack Diamond for 30. It's the richest race in BC for two-year-olds. That's it. Remember, you're going to have to learn to keep them straight. Or believe it or not, that turn over there, we are going to get you on. Child got the blues about me. <laughs>